Hello everyone, my name is Shazeb and welcome to AI Sciences. Today we have a very interesting project for you. We are going to see how we can detect fake currency with the help of linear regression, right? So let's start it. The first thing first, let's import the library that we are going to use. So the first library is pandas. So for that, let's write import pandas as pd. After that, we are going to need numpy. So for that, let's write import numpy as np. And other than that, we are going to need seaborn as well. So for that, I'm going to write import seaborn as sns. Later, we are going to use the train test split and standard scalar as well. So for that, I'm going to use sklearn, right? So uh, sklearn dot model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split now after that what are we going to need we are going to need up the logistic regression standard scalar and confusion matrix so let's import all of them as well out of them, standard scalar is available in pre-processing in sklearn. So from sklearn dot pre-processing import standard scalar. So standard scalar is the thing that we are going to need. After that, we are going to need logistic regression, which is available in linear models. So from sklearn dot linear underscore model import logistic regression and at the end from sklearn dot matrix import confusion matrix So these are all the libraries that we are going to need. Let's enter a few more cells. And now let's import our data set. So data set that we are going to use is banknotes. So let's write data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv. And in this I am going to write bank underscore notes dot csv and other than that i'm going to write header is equal to none after that i'm going to write data dot columns is equal to uh, you know var right so these are all the columns that we are going to pick other than that skew other than that curt later we are going to pick up enter and at the end we are going to pick authorization so a uth and now let me show you the data so in this data we are taking a uth as an output right or why you can say and the all of other things are taken as uh, you know input or x so there are a lot of ways to use that or to do that i am going to uh, use the loc command so let's write uh, x is equal to data dot loc right and in x we have all of the columns other than uh, you know the authorization column right so for that i'll write data dot columns is not equal to a uth so other than this one all of them will be included in the same way we can write y is equal to data dot location and in this i'm going to 
or write this the same way however this time i am going to write data dot columns is equal to authentication so it is the only column that we are going to pick let's run that and after that or let's uh, start the splitting so x train comma y train comma x test and uh, uh, sorry x train and x test then y train and y test so x train x test y train and y test and we can get all of them from train test split so let's write train test split and here i'll give x and y as an input and after x and y i'll give the text size which is the 30 percent so for 30 percent i'll write 0 0.3 and at the end i'll tell it that uh, use a random state so for that random state is equal to 42 so let's run this now let's import uh, actually we have already imported logistic regression right so uh, uh, in the start of this video i told you linear regression however we are going to use logistic regression here so let's write clf is equal to logistic regression and in this i'm going to write solver is equal to the solver that we are going to use is lbfgs and after that i'm going to write random state is equal to 42 in the same way so random underscore state is equal to 42 and multi class is equal to auto so multi underscore class is equal to auto and after that i'm going to write classifier dot fit and in this i'm going to write x train and then i'm going to write y train and then i'm going to write a y train dot values rival so that we get the values so values dot rival okay so this is the logistic regression um, classifier that we have developed now how can we get the y predict values so of course y predict values will be equal to the fitting or prediction with the help of classifier right so clf left dot predict and here i'll tell it that you should predict from x test right so after doing that we can actually make the confusion matrix as well so for that let's write confusion matrix is equal to pd dot data frame and here i'll write con u n underscore matrix and here i'll write y underscore test comma y underscore predict and then i'll tell it the columns so let's write columns is equal to predict negative and predict positive are the two columns that i'm going to make so pred negative and later pred positive so pred positive after that what i'm going to do after columns is i'm going to enter the index so index is equal to act negative and act positive so let's write act negative and act dot positive and uh, this is it these are all the things that we are going to need and then we are actually going to extract four values from the confusion matrix so those will be pn fp and other than that fn and tp right 
so i am going to get all of those values from the confusion matrix so let's write confusion underscore matrix right and in this i am going to give in two things basically so first will be y test and second will be y predict of course we have calculated both of them and after that i am going to rival these values as well now that i have done this twice the next step is to actually calculate the accuracy so if we are calculating accuracy this way there is a formula for that which states that we should round the values that are coming inside let me tell you what are the values so above what you need to do is you need to write tn plus tp and below what you need to do is you need to write all of those values that were above so what were those values tn plus fp plus fn plus tp right so i think uh, there is another bracket after this so here we'll write four and then close the bracket so it will be the accuracy and then just print out the confusion matrix and after that let's print out the accuracy so for that let's write print out f and later slash n and accuracy and is equal to round and then 100 multiplied by accuracy of course we want it to be shown in the form of percentage that's why i'm doing it so the accuracy that is uh, calculated before will be multiplied by 100 right and after multiplying it by 100 we are going to round off by 2 and after that outside of curly bracket let me just write that the string is ending so let's run this so there we go this is the result as you can see we have a very high accuracy of prediction of this column right so what does this mean this means that we have been able to develop a very good algorithm as well as a very good classification mechanism with the help of logistic regression right so this is it the accuracy is 98.79 which is actually equal to 99 percent you cannot get more than that right so this is a very high accuracy uh, product that we have developed right so if you want to uh, you know do more of these things and develop more projects like this keep watching AI sciences for that right we have a lot of videos on machine learning deep learning a lot of nlp and computer vn projects as well so you can take a look at all of them other than that this is it for today thank you for watching